diabetic um, retinopathy and, and maculopathy, so diabetic eye disease, is the, uh, the second commonest cause of visual impairment in the working age population in the UK. And it's predominantly secondary to poor sugar control, so poor glycemic control. So there is now very good evidence that with very strict control over a long period, you can reduce the risk of complications such as diabetic retinopathy and diabetic maculopathy. So if control is poor over many years and the blood vessels at the back of the eye in the retina, the light sensitive layer of the eye, can become leaky. And so fluid and blood that should ordinarily remain within those blood vessels seeps out of those blood vessels into the surrounding tissue, into the macula or the surrounding areas and causes visual impairment. In difficulty reading, difficulty recognizing faces or with central vision. The other thing that can occur with very poor sugar control over a long period is that abnormal blood vessels can start growing. And these blood vessels can grow from the nerve at the back of the eye or elsewhere on the retina. And they're, in addition to being abnormal, they're somewhat fragile and so can bleed readily. And that can cause loss of vision. They can also be associated with scar tissue which can contract and detach the retina, which also can cause visual loss and requires surgical intervention.